the wall. I bring in this eight-game unbeaten streak against the Idaho Steelheads, who nobody had a better record in the ECHL this past season than Idaho. Nobody won more home games. Nobody scored more goals. Nobody gave up fewer goals than the Idaho Steelhead. So Dan Watson and company know they're up for a tough challenge in game one. They were tested early. Steelhead's on the power play. Colton Keller, tough angle, but Sebastian Kosa is there for the stop. Idaho strong in net as well. Late in the first pass to Andrew Sturz. The germ shot on net, but Adam Scheel immune were scoreless after 20 minutes. Four minutes into the second, Steelhead's able to keep the puck in their own end. Jaden Miller opens the scoring. Former walleye Matt Register picking up the assist. And yes, they throw Steelhead on the ice in Idaho after their first goal. First time all postseason, Toledo has allowed the first goal. Just the third time they've trailed all playoffs. Charlie Curdy looking for the equalizer, but Shield is there. Fish exchanging pleasantries late in the period. Wade Murphy spins. Kosa slides over for the stop, keeping it a 1-0 game through two periods of play. In the third period, momentum shifts to Idaho. Andrew Sturtz, the five-minute major for boarding, and that would become an issue as the Steelheads go on to the power play. Walleye able to kill almost four, and a half, four minutes of it, but Ty pelton Bice gives Idaho a 2-0 lead. They would add an empty netter as the Walleye, for the first time in the postseason, fall. Shield, 29 saves. First time Toledo has been shut out since October. Well, just, I mean, yeah, it's, we, you know, everyone's been talking about our record as of late, and, uh, you know, we finally get to stop talking about that, and now we can just go play. Uh, yeah, as much as you try to not talk about it, it is there. I thought at times our guys try to pay a, play a perfect game. We just have to get back to our identity for the full full game, however long it's going to take, but um, adversity. You know, we talk about it all the time. It's a little bit here. Uh, you know, they, they got game one here on home ice, and we're looking to steal one here tomorrow. Matt Melzak and Claire Dow join us now from the Idaho Central Arena. All right, thanks. Back here in Idaho, Claire, when you look at this game uh, overall, I mean, obviously the big number it stands out is the fact Toledo unable to solve Adam Scheel on the goaltending side. They had some opportunities, especially that third period before the penalty. That's the other part of this game that stands out. They really had a nice burst going in the third period just before that Sturts penalty where you saw them trying some things. They overtook the shots on goal on Idaho for the first time all evening. I think it was 25-23, and that was the first time Toledo kind of jumped ahead there and it looked like they were going to create something offensively getting some bodies in front to try and mess with Shiel a little bit and then you go on with a five minute misconduct and it, it becomes tough to kind of climb out of that hole but the fact that they were only giving up one goal to Idaho in that stint is a pretty impressive feat. Yeah they almost made it all the way through and you felt like if they could have gotten through that five minute major without allowing a goal then the next thing you know this game changes again it's su hockey is such a game of momentum. Idaho was able to grab it though once they got the 2 nothing lead and, and Toledo could never really get jump started again. It's tough because if you're watching the game and you saw that it was one nothing for pretty much the entire contest it's a different feel than when you just look at the, the bottom you know stat line at the end of the night and it's 3 nothing. It did not feel like a 3 nothing blowout by any means this evening. It was really kind of those last few minutes and then of course the empty netter to kind of cherry on top for Idaho but two very evenly matched teams. It wasn't, I didn't feel like at least Toledo was outplayed per se the entire time. It was just in spurts. You wanted to see a little more creativity here and there and that was something that Coach Watson talked about that they're, you know, looking forward to tomorrow and kind of turning the page. Yeah, they could do it very quickly with game two coming up in less than 24 hours from now. That's a story from out here in Idaho. Let's send it back to you now in the studio.